So welcome everybody to Dream League Soccer Shorts. So basically back in May of 2021, I recorded a bunch of little snippet shorts in Dream League Soccer 2021 of what I thought could make a video, but I just never made it until now. So there'll be some tips, some stories, some cool little gimmicks in Dream League Soccer 2021 in this video, as well as I added some new ones in Dream League Soccer 2022. So just wanted to take a little bit of a break from the regular content on this channel to post this one. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So you wanna know how to get coins faster in Dream League Soccer 2022? Well, here are a couple tips. Obviously your main source is going to be from playing career mode matches since those give you the most coins. So here's how to maximize it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do before every single game is go to my club statistics, fixtures and results and look like right beside Real Madrid if you see an H or an A. These letters mean you're either home or away. You get more coins playing home games. So what you can do since you don't have to win every single game to come first is if you're playing an away game, quit it. And then if you're playing a home game, play it. This way, every single game, you'll get a home stadium bonus, which will give you more coins. Another quick tip to make games go a little bit faster is this auto replay on shots and fouls. If you turn this off, then you don't get that auto replay you have to skip through. So you'll save a little bit of time and you know, all that little bit of time helps. And if you're really fed up of not getting coins and you play this game a lot and you have a just a little bit of money to spend, here's a way to get lots of coins with a low amount of money. So right now for me, season pass costs $5.49 which is equivalent to 1,950 coins if you just buy coins straight. But if you have been playing online free to play and haven't bought season pass yet, you might have a bigger progress bank than you think. I had something like 10,000 coins and like 400 gems in my progress bank. And all I had to do was just activate season pass, didn't even have to play through it. And I got that progress bank. So I got almost $28 worth of coins plus $11 worth of gems for the price of the season pass. So if you've been playing for the game for a while and you haven't cashed out in season pass and you're looking to buy coins, look at your look at your progress bank in the top right corner of the season pass and maybe maybe it'll be it'll be a good day for you. <laughs> Have you ever wondered the difference in speed between a 100 speed player and a 5 speed player? We're going to be testing that right now. So here we have Mbappe who has 100 speed, 100 acceleration, and we, here we got Stewart who's got 5 speed and 6 acceleration. We're going to see how much faster Mbappe runs. All right, the start line is gonna be at half where Mbappe is right now, and then the finish line is going to be the edge of the box. So let's start the race. So here is Mbappe running the race. He is really, really fast. He has 100 speed, so obviously he'd be fast, and he finishes the race in only six seconds. And here is Stewart. Now, right off the gate, you can see he's running a little bit slower than Mbappe, as he should and he finishes the race in six seconds and 23 frames, almost one second longer than Mbappe. So the distance between the halfway line and the edge of the box is approximately 36 meters. So if we use that with their times, we can calculate their speed. Mbappe runs at an average speed of six meters per second or 21.6 kilometers per hour. And then Stewart runs at 5.32 meters per second or 19.15 kilometers per hour. So Mbappe is approximately 13% faster than Stewart. Now, what does this mean for in the game? Not really sure, but all we know is that it takes Stewart one second longer to run from half to the edge of the box. So that, that's the big difference there. Did you know you could actually get a 99 overall keeper in Dream Link Soccer? Right now, the highest overall goalkeeper's base card is Allison at 85 overall, who can actually get upgraded to 98 overall if, you know, you use the right coaches and all. So goalkeepers can get a plus 13 rating. So what if I told you there used to be a goalkeeper in this game that was 86 overall? Now, a lot of people probably know who I'm talking about, but for the people who don't, there used to be an 86 overall David De Gea in the game. At the beginning of Dream League Soccer 2020, David De Gea's rating was 86. I could have bought him many times, but decided not to because I said Old Black was good enough. My team overall is 84.3 and I have De Gea in in the, in the store uh, i'm not gonna buy him and that was a mistake because in one of the updates he got downgraded to 84 and now i think he's downgraded to 81 so uh yeah De Gea used to be 86 could have been 99 if i upgraded him correctly and that was my sad story of how i could have got a 99 overall goalkeeper if you know goalkeepers actually did something so i actually really don't care <laughs> I don't know about you, but I've always wondered what 100 goals would look like playing against someone else. Like, what if I could win a game 100 to nothing? Now, obviously, this is really, really hard against a regular opponent, 
But good thing, I have two accounts, and I can play a friendly match between them. Alright, let's go. What we gotta do is as quick as possible, alright? And no screwing up, okay? Boom. That's one minute per one goal. So, we're gonna have to take advantage of some stoppage time if we're gonna make it to 100. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> Come on! Are you kidding me? You can't you can't win by more than ten in a friendly match. It, does this exist online? Because I've never done that. Probably right. Um. Well. Uh. Challenge failed. Myth busted. I guess. Is this a Mythbusters show now? All right. You saw that in Dream League Soccer 2021. Let's see if they still have it in Dream League Soccer 2022. I would imagine that it is the exact same thing, but uh, maybe they lowered it or something. We'll see. All right. We scored three. Let's see if they stop us at five, but they might just stop us at ten. All right. Here comes five. Are they gonna end it here at five? or is it gonna be 10? Okay, they let us go five. Let's see if they let they keep us going after 10. All right, here comes 10. Let's see if they end the game. Come on, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> they haven't changed it. It's the exact same thing. So about two and a half years ago, I tried to play a game where I had 100% possession of the ball. Now this challenge was actually really hard, maybe even impossible, but I ended up getting 95%. I did that video in the academy division, but now that we can play friend matches, I could play by myself, so maybe I can actually get 100% this time. So I start out with the ball here, okay? But now at halftime, it's gonna go to my phone account. So maybe if I pass it to me right away on my phone account, I'll be able to get 100%. Maybe 99, hopefully not, but uh, yeah. Maybe it'll be so little that they'll round the 99% to 100, so that's what I'm hoping for. Now I'll obviously have to score a goal in order to win because I can't win nil-nil, but uh, we'll do that at the end. All right, halftime, we made it. Okay, so now here's where the pressure comes on because I have to play on this account here and um, make sure I, I, I do as little possession as possible because I have 100% right now. All right, I passed it forward here and there we go. Okay, all right, now I gotta be very careful in order to score this goal, okay? Because the CPU defense is doing pretty well right now. Okay, here we go, this should be fine. This should be fine, this should be fine. Score, score, boom, okay. That was really close. All I have to do is just pass it like here again, take control. Boom, now I have possession. Okay, and then now we wait till the end of the game and see if I have 100%. And I think this was the best I could possibly do. So if I don't get 100% here, this is the most possession you can ever have to win a game. All right, the moment of truth is coming up real close. I want at least 99%, okay? But if I can get 100% because that didn't count as possession, that would be amazing. Come on, baby. Come on, show it to me. I'm so, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna let it play out. No way, come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ah! Yeah, I, it's, it's not possible to get 100%. Dang it! That was so close. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this new style of video. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to continue doing it because I might not have any more shorts ideas, but uh, it was a good thing to experiment with. And uh, yeah, a good break from regular content. See you guys in the next one.